What's up everybody, welcome to Money Management Channel. My name is Andrei and today I'm gonna be doing an update on TTOO stock. And in today's video, first of all, I will show you where we are on the price chart and how we get there. Then I will continue with the fundamental news and I will show you what the news uh, was the catalyst for its recent uh, price action uh, during which this asset uh, gained from its lowest point about 100% uh, to its value. And at the end of this video I will share my thoughts and my technical analysis. And I will show you what should we expect next. So let's start with the price chart. I made my previous video right here at this very point and my main assumption was uh, that uh, this asset uh, formed uh, a bearish uh, triangle and descending triangle and uh, this uh, triangle this uh, pattern usually breaks to the downside and at this very moment i've told you that uh, without any news uh, from fda and without any news uh, from reverse stock split we might see the next leg to the downside that potentially might break uh, this uh, range of support at roughly 24.5 cents and uh, the very next session uh, as you can see it gained uh, from this point uh, about uh, 67% to its value and from swing low about 100%. So technically, yes, I was wrong, but uh, at this very point, I've told you not to enter any position. This means uh, you didn't lose any money and uh, this is a quite positive sign. On top of that, uh, let me remind you that I made a lot of predictions uh, previously on this asset uh, and uh, from this point, I've told you that this asset uh, should hit uh, this uh, price target. It is the previous swing high. Then at this point, uh, I've told you that uh, we have to see the retracement and it happened right after I published my video. At this very point, I've told you that we have to retest uh, this previous bottom and uh, most likely we should break it and it happened again. Then at this very point, uh, when we reached the previous uh, swing low, I've told you that uh, this asset uh, might have another leg to the upside. And uh, this uh, point uh, was another video when I made uh, a prediction that we should go lower and potentially might retest uh, this range. So I think uh, another video was made right here with another uh, prediction that we have to see this uh, movement and we have to retest uh, this swing low. So let's count all of them. One, two, three, four, five, six. Six predictions uh, that uh, I, when I was correct and uh, one prediction that uh, I wasn't uh, right. And uh, this uh, is 85% uh, uh, of win rate on this particular asset. Guys, you can prove my words by watching all the videos uh, from uh, the mid of August regarding TTOO. And you will see that uh, I was right in 85% of cases. So uh, let's delete all unnecessary tools and let's take a look uh, on uh, its uh, recent price section. What was the reason of uh, its spike? Let me show you some news uh, and uh, we are on Seeking Alpha and this article was published on September 19th. And it says, T2 Biosystems uh, stock sinks after rallying in prior session amid FDA in use. And let me quote to this. Shares of T2 Biosystems were down 17% in morning trading Tuesday after soaring 64% on Monday amid news that the company had received FDA clearance for its T2 BioThread panel. T2 Biosystems confirmed the FDA decision in a press release early Tuesday. The clearance allows the company to start marketing the panel, which can detect six BioThread pathogens for the US market. The FDA news was reported by a handful of financial news uh, websites on Monday. And definitely this approval was uh, the news that everybody was anticipating for quite uh, a long period of time. And that is why it went uh, much higher and it broke uh, this uh, bearish pattern. But let me show you another quite interesting detail. Also on Monday, T2 disclosed uh, in the in an SEC filing that shareholders had approved a proposed reverse stock split. The shareholders uh, meeting was uh, held on September 15th. And I have to say that uh, I made a video uh, right uh, in the weekend, uh, right after September 15th. And uh, I've told you that they didn't publish any news regarding this, uh, uh, the uh, stockholders meeting, but uh, then let me show you that uh, they approved uh, all the proposals 
and uh, they approved uh, the reverse stock split. And uh, guys, it is quite interesting situation because previously this shareholder meeting was uh, scheduled to uh, September September the 12th, I believe. And uh, then it was postponed to September 15th. And uh, let me show you that uh, T2Buy system received their FDA approval basically at the same uh, time. And uh, this means potentially, I think, uh, uh, C-Level's executive uh, wanted to mitigate uh, the uh, negative pressure on uh, the stock uh, by issuing two news in a row. First of all, that uh, they received their FDA clearance and uh, they basically uh, can start, uh, let me show you, let me uh, quote you this. The FDA 510k clearance allows the company to immediately begin market marketing and selling the T2 by threat panel in the US market. And uh, by this uh, news, uh, they uh, mitigated uh, all the negative uh, uh, bearish pressure that was made uh, by this uh, reverse stock uh, split approval. And guys, uh, I have to say that uh, because of uh, these updates, uh, we are still in quite tricky situation. And let's continue with the technical analysis. But before we dive deep right here, please subscribe to my channel, hit notification bell and hit the like button. This helps me a lot. So guys, uh, let's take a look on a bigger picture of uh, its price action. And I have to say that uh, um, I'm a bit confused. First of all, uh, let me show you some bullish signs. Uh, with this uh, latest movement to the upside, uh, it had a quite decent uh, volume that shows the interest from buyer's side uh, to buy these shares. And uh, as I already mentioned, from its lowest point to its highest point, it gained uh, about 100%. But uh, in a matter of just two next sessions, this asset, uh, let me show you like this, uh, this asset lost about 37% uh, of its value and uh, it is hovering, uh, let's uh, pull the Fibonacci retracement tool from its lowest point to its highest point, it, it broke uh, the golden pocket range, so definitely not the best sign as well. And uh, on top of that, uh, you know that uh, right after a uh, certain asset formed uh, its structure to the upside, it, uh, it's a motive wave, uh, and the motive wave should have five wave structure in it. We have to see the retracement uh, that usually has the, sim the shape of simple zigzag. And my main assumption previously was that we completed uh, this uh, retracement, and as long as this pivot holds, uh, we should see higher targets. And uh, this uh, blip, let me show you this in details, this blip below this previous bottom basically eliminates uh, this uh, count because uh, I cannot count uh, this as a first wave, this is a second, this is a third, and uh, so on and so forth. And uh, the reason is uh, simple. We cannot see the retracement uh, of uh, uh, the initial wave that is deeper than the bottom of this wave. And this means uh, this count is eliminated and I'm pretty much confused uh, what should we expect next. But in general, I have to say that uh, uh, this company is not uh, so financial stable. Uh, we know that uh, they have uh, not the best uh, fundamentals. And uh, a lot of uh, investors, let me show you the list of their institutional investors, basically all of them got rid of their position uh, this spring. And despite uh, this uh, news uh, of uh, the FDA approval, um, I don't think that uh, this asset uh, might go much higher in upcoming sessions. And uh, why this uh, movement uh, was uh, quite harsh. Uh, and uh, let me show you this. We are on stocktweets.com website and uh, this ticker symbol, as you can see, TTOO is on the second place on the most active section. This means uh, a lot of uh, retail investors uh, still believe that this asset uh, might have a huge movement to the upside and uh, it uh, shows that TTOO is basically a meme stock. Definitely you cannot count uh, all these stocks as a meme stocks. Definitely Tesla is not uh, in this list. But uh, if uh, the company doesn't have uh, very good fundamentals, if it doesn't have a huge uh, market cap, uh, if uh, it is uh, trading below one dollar mark uh, and it has a huge volatility. Definitely with this uh, list uh, you can see that uh, these stocks are uh, a meme stocks and uh, this means uh, you have to be cautious with any of your position. So and uh, what should we expect next? I have to say that uh, 
Uh, it is quite tricky to assume, but uh, most likely without any additional news. Um, uh, we have the major news uh, that uh, they have to uh, make a reverse stock split and by itself it is not the best news. And we have to wait uh, uh, till it breaks uh, the next uh, uh, crucial point. One of them is this bottom and if it goes lower, and by the way I don't mean this tool, if it breaks uh, the range of about 22.92 uh, cents, we pretty much confirm the uh, bearish uh, uh, outcome for this asset. Otherwise, if it breaks uh, this swing high, especially with the conviction of volume, we might anticipate uh, the next uh, major legs to the upside that potentially might break these two swing highs. And uh, for now, I still stand on my position that uh, uh, it is uh, too early to do any trades with this asset, but technically you have an opportunity to enter your position right here with the stop loss at uh, roughly 31%, but uh, it is uh, too risky and uh, the downside potential is huge, even compared to the breakout above uh, this range. And it doesn't show you, it doesn't give you the risk to reward ratio even two to one. That's why I suggest you to stay aside from any, set, any, any trades and that is why just uh, wait for the next uh, major update. So I think that's all information that I want to provide you. If you like my video, please hit the like button and subscribe to my channel with the notification bell. And see you guys and girls next time. Bye. I got the cash in the bag, stadium.